are Sam and Shannon. And um, as she said, 21, I think 21 and a half years ago, <laughs> we found Ross and Dietza. Um, before we found them, we had been married for three years at that point. And um, we were young, we were 25. <laughs> and um, we had come to our marriage, um, both virgins, and had struggled, um, I remember the first year, had struggled um, to have intercourse. And we just thought, well, we come from a strict Christian religion and it's just gonna take some time. And so time and time again, things were not working out. And we just thought, well, you know, we we're both virgins and we're naive. And so we've got to figure this out. And so we read books and we went to doctors and tried many things. And um, by year three, we're thinking, this, this is not, this is not getting better. And um, the level of frustration and anxiety we had was intense. Um, we wanted to start our family and that was not gonna happen, obviously. Um, so we eventually found Ross and Dietza and we went through the treatment and um, was very successful. Um, and I remember when we went to them, I remember feeling like um, I get emotional about it. I thought there's no way that they've seen someone as bad as me. Like sure they've, we had heard that, you know, other people were cured and different things, but I thought, well, they haven't seen as bad as me yet though. <laughs> and um, I was not able to have a gynecological exam before then. I couldn't use a tampon and we couldn't have intercourse. So I thought for sure they hadn't met anyone as bad as me. And, um, and I thought there couldn't possibly be a cure either. And um, we did the treatment, it was very successful. Um, and it was great. And we took a second honeymoon after the treatment. And now 21 years later, we have four kids and are still enjoying being cured. And um, it's just so nice to not have that level of stress. We have other stresses in our life, but that level of stress and vaginismus is gone. And that is um, a huge relief. I think the, the level of impact of uh, how much we thought about it beforehand um, compared to afterwards is night and day. Um, it's, it's something that, uh, you know, as we contemplated as far as what, we, what could we talk about, um, we had to dig deep. We had to go back as far as to read things that we had written before and uh, shared before and, um, you know, kind of go back and say, okay, yeah, actually that was uh, uh, quite impactful. But then to look back at it now, it's uh, something that's in the distant past. Um, we don't say that to be unrelatable. We, it's just fact. Um, it's, uh, it's been, you know, a blessing and a joy. I, I, I think one thing that I observed through all of it was that there always seemed to be kind of a mystery as we would go from one um, provider to another to discuss as far as ways, you know, that it could be overcome or you know different steps that could be approached and uh instead what we found is we you know discussed things with ross ross and Dita that it was very methodical it was very um step-by-step -step approach um there was no mystic unknown if you will yeah and as sam and shannon would you say at this point now life is as good as it as or better then after your treat, right after your treatment. Oh, better. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's better. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's better. It's just gets exponentially better as older, as we get older and life changes and we change with it. And it's just been great. 